What's up guys, Acosta here for a quick anatomy lesson. So I want to discuss a little bit about origin, insertion, and action and what these terms mean. So when we say origin, we're referring to the fixated bone or the immovable bone. It's stationary. Compared to the insertion is the movable bone. So during the action of a muscle or the movement of a muscle whenever it contracts, the insertion is going to move towards the origin. So let's go through a couple of examples to illustrate this. So for instance, uh, one of the muscles is the biceps. So the bicep brachii, the short head attaches at the coracoid process, and the insertion is on the radial tuberosity. So that's here. So during elbow flexion, so that's the action of the bicep brachii, the insertion is going to move towards the origin during elbow flexion. So it moves in this direction. So as it contracts, like, it, like I said once again, the insertion is moving towards the origin. So you bring it down. Um, uh, one other thing I wanted to mention too, so as you're going through and you're learning the origin and the insertion and the actions of these muscles, um, if, you, if you have a good understanding of all the, the movements that are allowed here at the joints, where the, the the muscle starts and ends, you can it's you can figure out the action of the muscle. So because I know that the bicep, the short head, the short head of the bicep goes from here to here, once it contracts, I know this is, is a hinge joint. I know that at a hinge there's only flexion and extension. So as the muscle contracts, right, it brings it up the insertion towards the origin. So that's um, one example. So then let's look at the pec major. So the pec major, the origin is here at the at the sternum as well as the medial clavicle and then part of the ribs. So the origin is here and then the insertion is at the intertubercular sulcus here of the humerus. So this is a ball and socket joint. So then if you go through the motion, as that muscle starts to contract, it'll bring the humerus in this direction. It'll adduct. So therefore, once again, the insertion is moving towards the origin. Let's look at the sternocleidomastoid. So the sternocleidomastoid, the origin is here, and then it attaches at the mastoid process. So as that muscle contracts, the insertion moves towards the origin. So as you do that, neck flexion occurs. Another example, so muscles here, so the temporalis is at the temporal fossa, that's the origin, and then it inserts on the coronoid process here of the mandible. The masseter attaches at the zygomatic process, that's the origin, and then the insertion is here. So both of these muscles, what they help to do is to elevate the jaw. So you bring the jaw down, and then as those muscles shorten, they bring it up. So once again, the insertion for both of those muscles is moving towards the origin. Okay, so that's gonna do it for this video.